Hi, John Baker here from Rotac Repair. Today, I want to talk to you about how we would fill the rotary oil reservoir when we're working with a 582 Rotax with the spark plugs down, just like you'd find it on a Challenger. Now, right now, the engine, I'm just setting it up on my run stand so that I can do the run in and after. Perfect time to fill this because it's absolutely dry. First thing I would recommend that you do when it's already full, if you're gonna change it, is of course, when you take the hose off and you're gonna drain it, drain it into a container that's graduated. That way you'll know at least to put that much oil back in it. It's sort of obvious, but it's a very, very simple way to do it. So right now, everything is out of it. It's completely dry. So cap is off. I've measured out 320 milliliters of two-stroke oil, the same that we use in the fuel. So we're gonna start and put it in. I'm trying not to spill it like I just did. So I slopped a little down the edge, not a big deal. And I'm continuing to fill it. It will kind of bleed out a little bit, but not very much. The one that has the spark plugs facing up, it's very, very simple because it self bleeds. So I only have not even 100 milliliters in it. The tank actually shows that it's actually over full and absolutely nothing is happening. If you were to start this a brand new engine or a, or a repaired engine or after you change the oil with only that much oil in it, you'll definitely damage the engine. Okay, so let's go around to the other side of the engine. And of course, I've already put some paper. Here's the water pump housing. Uh, the exhaust isn't put on this engine yet. And here we are right here. We want to take out this plug right here. Now I put some paper there because it's probably going to make a mess when the oil comes out when it finally the air bleeds out. So I want to uh, remove the plug. There is a little wash, a little copper washer that goes with it. You should renew that. Okay, and now let's go around the other side now and let's have a look again at this oil tank. Well, look at that. That is completely gone, that oil that we put in. Okay, completely emptied out. So obviously it had a huge air leak in it. Uh, sorry, an air lock in it. Okay, so we started out with about 320 milliliters of oil. So I'm adding some more and nothing's coming out yet. So it's just venting. We're still adding, adding. We're getting up towards full. Still no oil coming out yet, out the vent. And we're gonna put more, whoop, okay, now now we did it, we started to make a mess. But now we know the oil is coming out, it is full. So I put the paper here to soak it up. So we'll, uh, we'll reinstall this, and obviously we would, uh, we would torque that fastener, which I'll do after. And then we're gonna come back around. And of course, the tank is showing just a little bit in the bottom. So now I'm gonna take the rest of that 320 milliliters. Uh, as long as you get around 300 in it, you'll know, or 300 in a bit. Uh, depending upon the installation on these and the length of the hoses um, for the uh, the install for the tank, it's going to depend on whether it takes the full, you know, factory amount of oil. Uh, it is. There's very little left. Uh, doesn't even. It's not even graduated there. And the tank is full. So I'm quite happy with that. And I know that I have at least 300 milliliters or very, very close. It has to be full or so close to full that I can start the engine safely and run it. And then of course, as soon as I start it and it runs for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna re-check uh, that and see if I can get any more oil in it. I may or I may not. As I said, it depends on how long the hoses are and what configuration your installation is. So I hope this helps you to change the oil and refill it properly so you don't damage your engine. Uh, is this is a service that needs to be done to these engines every 100 hours. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye now.